So guys, I've been thinking for a very long time, or quite a while now, um, to walk away from the YouTube platform. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a long time now. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even look at the camera, man. I can't lie to you guys, you know what I mean? I'm hyped right now, man. Kyvers is a Chelsea player. Hakim Ziyech, Timo Werner, Ben Chirol, Tiago Silva, Marlon Saar, hopefully Declan Rice, many incomings at Chelsea, man. The future's bright. Rival fans crying, you think I'm going to leave YouTube? I'm motivated more than ever, but what's going on guys? Well, watch else back again with another video for you guys. And I hope you're all having a lovely day slash evening. As always, I give you guys the latest Chelsea news in the last 12, 24 hours. It is mainly going to be about Kyivers and Eden Hazard. I'm going to be talking about a bit about net spend, not in detail. That video for net spend will be coming out probably tomorrow or the day after. And also, you guys didn't all watch the predicted lineup, so I had to delete the video and I'll be redoing it and uploading it probably tomorrow. So please look out for the video tomorrow, man, predicted lineup, because I want to see your thoughts and opinions. So, guys, if you enjoy my content, smash that like button. Let's get at least 700 likes on this video. Subscribe if you're new here. It's free, man, or you get bad luck. Yeah? Subscribe, man. Help me get to 20k milestone, man. I want to see you guys tune in every single day. I upload every single day for all you beautiful people. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. And I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that does support me all the time. I see your comments always, man. So big up to all of you. Look. Now, Kai Averts, I'm talking about Marina. Marina is a special, special person, man. She's done so much for Chelsea over the years now. The future is bright, okay? The future is so bright. She deserves a statue, man. No more disrespect from me. Like, I used to kind of hate on her since the Conte days where she's got these certain signings for how much, you know, Bakayoko and Morassa's deal and, and all that stuff. But we move on. You know, I apologise to Marina for, you know, all the bad things I've said. Uh, I didn't, you know, say proper abuse. So I just said negative stuff like, oh, she needs to either go or she needs to fix up. And she has fixed up. And this is where my praise is because I'm a man to admit it. I got it wrong on her. So... You know, hopefully this continues on the front line, but pet check as well. Congratulations. So she came out saying Kai is one of the best players of his age in the world football generational talent, basically. So we are happy that his future lies at Chelsea. He's an exciting, dynamic talent. We are delighted to be able to add his quality to the squad before the season begins, which is fantastic. Kai let's come out and just shows how much pull power Frank Lampard has. Of course, Lampard had a big impact on my decision. I loved him as a player and watched him very often. I feel I can learn from him as a manager. I can't wait to play with him and learn from him. He also couldn't be proud and feel more privileged to join Chelsea Football Club. Yesterday marked the day of my childhood dreams coming true. My man, Kai Havertz, welcome to Chelsea. My friend is fantastic. It's 72 million roughly or even 70 million pounds after add-ons, okay? 62 million pounds up front. That's the news Chelsea have given our journalists. So Matt Law, um, Nizar, Chelsea related are, are being told it's 62 million plus 8 million add-ons, so 10 million bonuses. But by Leverkusen are telling Christian Falk, Fabrizio Romano, etc. that they got 80 million. So they're saying it's a bit more. They're trying to make the transfer look a bit higher to make the books look good and you know try to hype up the reputation. But I'm going to believe the Chelsea side, isn't it? Fabrizio Romano and Christian Falk have got it right over the, over the last few months on all transfers. They got this topic right as well. I'm not going to like get onto them about the fee, but I'm sticking with Chelsea, okay? I think it is going to be a record fee for Chelsea, but after add-ons, that's all it is. So, initial fee isn't beating Kepa, unfortunately, but after all add-ons, he is our number one um, world record signing. Of course, we've seen the fifth stand app, they did say world record signing as well. So, that is all I've got to say about Kyabets today. Um, I really hope you guys have joined the giveaway because I do have a giveaway for Kai Havertz on Twitter. you got to follow me and check out my pinned tweet. I'll be plugging it a lot more um, on the pinned comment and in the description. So hopefully you guys are joining in there. So Eden Hazard is someone that I really want to speak about. I think Eden Hazard has left Chelsea to open up the future bright for Chelsea. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it with him. I didn't talk about him in detail. Many people said 89 million up front with 130 in total, which comes to about 120 million pounds. However, we have very, very um, close source from HLN, very close to Belgian news. So Mitchie, Hazard, De Bruyne, etc. He's very reliable. Um, he said a alleged fraud case around Eden Hazard's training compensation to former club Tobies has revealed the total fee, including bonuses that Real Madrid might have to pay is 160 million euros, which is 143 million pounds. This is a massive game changer, by the way. 
Um, it's going to be paid in installments, 36 million in 2019, 50 million in 2020, and 57 million in 2021. This is in pounds, by the way. So it's 40 million euros, 56 million euros, and 64 million euros um, over the three years. Now, Chelsea were always sure they will get 130 million euros at least. That's what we've always been reporting on. Initial fee of around 100 million, which is about 89 million, as I said, and 30 million in guaranteed bonuses, some related bonuses. But this is a game changer, a massive, massive game changer. 160 million euros, man. 143 million pounds, yeah. That's like him and Morata that covers the entire transfer window of this year. Literally, all the players we brought so far, the money is covered. If we take these figures into consideration right now, just those two. We don't need to talk about Boga, we need to talk about uh, Pasalic, we don't need to talk about any of those guys. That's going to be coming up in my future videos when I talk about the entire net spend from 2019. I want to make an actual video on that because a lot of rival fans are hating for some reason. I don't know why. But when you look at it, Ben Chirwell, 45 million uh, without add-ons, of course, 5 million extra add-ons this summer transfer window. Timo Werner, 47.5 million. Uh, many people are crying about it. it's going to be 50 million plus. But it's actually cheaper than Marata, which is fantastic business. Hakim Ziyech, 33.6 million up front, of course. I think there's a 5 million bonus that takes it up to 38 million. Xavier Free, the next Van Dijk. Marlon Saar, free transfer as well, who should be going out on loan and could be a future Chelsea star. Who knows? Thiago Silva for free, who took a massive pay cut. I think it was about 200,000 less, which is immense for someone with his quality leadership. A champion that has come to this team for Chelsea. That's a massive statement, in my opinion. Kai at 62 million plus bonuses, of course, which comes to a total of 188 million which is fantastic. And as I just said, 143 million of Eden Hazard plus, I think, 50 million when you include a loan fee of Murata, you know, that's 190 million basically. And that just shows you that we have the money successfully. We have bought correctly. Eden Hazard has opened the doors for Chelsea, basically. It's sad that we had to let him go, but we've moved on. You know, Ronaldo left United. They still love the guy. Hazard moved from Chelsea. We love the guy. Messi wants to move on Barca, but it didn't happen. Now, I think Chelsea want to announce Kai Havertz at 6pm. I genuinely think they want to announce it at 6pm, but, or 5pm, Messi news came out saying that he's going to be staying at Barcelona, and that took over the entire situation on the timeline, which means, you know, <coughs> no one was expecting it at 8, 8.15ish. Rudo came out with a video straight away. It's time to announce Havertz. Chelsea involved uh, Chelsea fans, Eunice, Faroz, and a lot of you guys on the timeline that you comment announce habits, which is fantastic to see Chelsea interacting with the fan base. That's what we want to see. We want to see Chelsea staying close with the fans because without us, you know, it's not the same. Without fans in the stadium, it's not the same. We have to get used to it, of course. But now fans are slowly coming back into it. We saw a Brighton 2.5k in preseason. It was a lot better hearing those guys than the sounds that, uh, you know, TV pundits and TV broadcasters are making. So, very, very important. Um, in my opinion, Chelsea have made a very, very good mark to move. Hopefully, they do a lot more around Chelsea YouTubers as well. Um, and they get in touch with us, basically. Maybe not myself, but I want to see more of, like, George. I want to see Nini. I want to see Yannick. I want to see Eunice. I want to see all these guys, basically, growing even more. Because without them, the community isn't the same. I'm, I'm being straight up. I love seeing other people shine. I want to shine as well, but I love seeing people shine as well. I want to see all of us shine. You know what I mean? So, healthy competition, fantastic. And also, I want to talk about Timo Werner. He met Oli in Berlin back here in February, but United couldn't afford him unless they sold Pogba. And unfortunately, United, we don't care. Unlucky, mate. Also, Timo Werner rejected Pep Guardiola before he joined Chelsea, which is absolute fantastic. Frank Lampard, my friend, ex legend, or well, legend of the game, ex player. You're going to be a future special manager now. I want to be supporting him so much. These signings will take him to the highest level, man. I can't wait. Like, I'm bouncing on the bed thinking, damn, I'm excited. Are you telling me I ain't got no energy for this video? Are you crazy? I'm buzzing for this new season. I can't wait to start doing content. As I said at the start of the video, I was thinking about it, I'm not going to lie, before the Kai Havertz situation because I was doing YouTube every single day, well I still am, and I'm also doing work every single day and I actually got my private life as well and there's a lot, but the community man, you lot helped me out so much in life, I need to get fresh stream as well soon, 
But yeah, that's about it. Man. Look out for the Spotify podcast, Apple podcast as well. Link in the description. We have an ex Chelsea player coming on the podcast. The team on the ace. Hopefully, come out tonight or probably tomorrow. But I'll plug it again. But what watch else, guys? Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and I'll see you guys soon. Man. Please tune in tomorrow. Predictive lineup, man. Peace.